Yo, thank everybody out there for watching. You know how I do, man. I got to thank you guys first and foremost because, of course, I'd still be a collector without y'all. It don't matter if I knew y'all y'all was tuning in. But I wouldn't be doing these videos if it wasn't for you guys tuning in. So thank you guys for your time. As always, I got to thank y'all first. So um, long story short, today, yo, do your homework. You know what today is, bro. Do your homework on what today is. It's Friday, man. So, you know, I be trying to drop videos once a week. Uh, I'm a little behind right now just because of life circumstances. I got stuff going on, too, you know. But uh, today, man, listen, it's approaching It's approaching Easter, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's Fitted Friday. It's Good Friday. So I wanted to show you guys some good fitness, man, some fly brims, some uh, some stuff in my collection. I was actually speaking to somebody who's uh, pretty fashionable. You know what I'm saying? I commend, I commend they fashion a little bit. They need some help sometime, but I, I commend they fashion since a little bit. And I was like, yo, bro, why don't you drop some videos with nothing but a bunch of Easter kind of palettes? And so I said, damn, that's a crazy good-ass idea. So thank you out there for uh for, for the for the memento thank you for throwing that out there for the note for the hint so i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do today as you guys see i pulled a clip out real quick just a little small some of these i've shown you guys before some of these i'm not sure i have but i'm gonna show you guys some fitted hats just some fly stuff to throw on something similar you know what i mean the, the, the color palettes that i got that would fit the easter theme kind of so today man first and foremost i got this right here behind me y'all know i collect toronto blue jays i've never worn this if you do your homework do your research but look back Look back. See how I many I've shown this hat I think two or three times, but I've still to this day never put it on. But this is just icy, man. This is super, super icy. You guys see the shades. It's like a very, very icy mint green, kind of teal, kind of the blue at the bottom, like it's supposed to be. It's so icy. I just I never pulled it out. And to be honest with you, I'm gonna I'm have to go with what would I throw on with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have too many things this shade, and I feel like it's real hard to match certain certain tints with, you know what I'm saying, certain hues and certain color tints, but this one I feel like was done properly. You see, I got the light lights on today, man. I got the light lights on today. You see what I'm saying? I got the white. I got God's light out here right now. So uh, this is just one of the one of the very fly joints I got. I feel like, let me know in the comments, too. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you feel like how I'm feeling about it. You see what I'm saying? If you're not, cool, but just, just let me know. Now, this theme, I believe this was re released like two years ago. Going on three years ago, I think. And this one, as you see, you know I'm a collector, man. You know I'm a collector, right? So very, very similar, but definitely different in shade. You guys can see this right here is like a violet purple. The UV on this is a very, very bright infrared. So I believe this was an Easter, like an Easter pack release. So as you guys can see, the buttons at the top are definitely different. It is the same side patch, but it's two different shades, right? Let me hold these up, two different shades. As you guys see, I complain about this all the time. They blended this. They did not blend this one. So this one stands out definitely a little bit more than this one would. As you can see, you can hardly see that one. But you can you can still slight, you know what I mean? You can still see this one from afar. So that's what I love. I love that the most. Um, but definitely got icy piece, another white interior, white liner. Uh, I did try this on. Uh, never, I don't think I rocked it and went nowhere, nothing like that. But special occasions, man. Now, yo, now listen. This would be the hard thing about being a collector. Because you feel like I just sold you this. You feel like I just sold you, but I didn't. And I'm actually getting rid of this one. Uh, I got this a couple years back too. This is actually a custom. As you guys see, this is just well done. But once again, do, do, do. you see the logo is blended in. Some people, again, most people out here love that black liner, black interior. So you can wear this one a lot more than you would the white interiors. Because if you're one of them sweaty dudes, I don't really sweat. But if you're one of them sweaty dudes, don't sweat it. Because you ain't going to see it in the sweatband, right? So it's a black sweatband, gray UV. Uh, just clean, clean, very, very fly. But as you guys see, that bird is actually colored. Y'all see that? Very, very fly. You're not going to see that every day. So we're running through it right now, man. We're running through it. We're running through it. Now this next one is, this one is just mean, boy. This is, this was a gift. I got this for my birthday, I think like two or three years back. But as you guys see, also a joint, I've just, what do you rock with this? I think I took this to Florida with intentions of rocking, and I don't think I did. But once again, I'm let down by this. But this is just a red gym. This is a minor league baseball team. You just don't see the front patch and the side patch. The side patch being minimalized of the front patch. You don't really see that too, too often. Icy, icy, pink UV, white liner, clean. We got to zoom in on it. This is definitely, definitely an Easter piece. It's like a negative image of the minor league logo. Love that though. Right, so we down, we down, we down what, four? We down four, we running through it. Now this right here is definitely, I don't know why this reminds me of like Easter eggs, Easter egg-ish, but this is Chicago Cubs. This is a seven and a half. So again, if you're watching this, I'm definitely selling this too. 
I got a box of hats I'm about to be selling. That's probably going to be one of my next videos. I'm probably just going to throw up a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be letting go for the load too. Like everything I'm charging, I think it's going to be like retail price. I'm not like trying to come up off of nobody. So probably like 55, 60, 60 a hat, something like that. But brand new, never worn, dark purple UV, all violet. This is clean, dude. I can't even lie to you. Icy white liner. But once again, look at this roll. Look at this roll. Look at how many times it's blended in. It don't stand out. Look at this roll so far. So we one, two, three, four, five. We five in, and only one of these hats is not blended. We five in. We five in at the five minute mark, right? So I'm about to be almost done, and I got a couple left, and I'm gonna let you guys go. But just let me know what you think in the comments. Is these fly? You agree with me or what? What you thinking? This one right here. Now this actually is a custom. I got this side patch actually done myself. This hat there was no side patch that came with this version of this. So when I actually threw this pin in right here, which is from Pink Bottom Just. Uh, one of the guys that we're working over with Hat Club, I threw this pin in because I threw it over the New Era logo because, again, I like my New Era logo to stand out. Pink UV, icy white liner. I've definitely worn this a couple times. Uh, definitely one of my favorite Bisons. You know, I love the Bisons, man. Jackie Robinson. Love it. So this right here, I did as best as I could to color coordinate the front. Me and a guy, icy that was working on it. So shouts out to him if he's watching this video. Um, and we down to the last few. We down to the last few, man. Now this right here, I had two of these. Actually, somebody was hunting one of these a while ago. So I just charged the retail price for it. I'm not trying to come up again off of nobody. But this got a black corduroy you uh, brim, a icy pink, pink UV, as you guys can see. The white liner. You see the guts. You see the guts in that thing, right? The new era logo though. Do, do, do. Let down. I told y'all. Now, so look, we got a clip right now. Let's blend it. This is one of my favorite side patches of all time. You see all them five stars around my guy right there. This is one of my favorite side patches of all time. So let's do this recap real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hats. Out of seven hats from all different locations, only one of them has a new era sign that's not blended. Do your homework, bro. Do your homework when I tell y'all how often they do it. Do your homework. Out of all these, I got an awful right now. Whole clip. I think this is the last one. Last but not least, listen, just because of my gang ties and my history in life, I'm not throwing down a pitchfork so I ain't dissing no GDs, but this is this is a fitted you can't rock everywhere. Now, I got this hat by mistake. Somebody actually sent me this on accident, but this is Seattle. This is bright as hell. This is definitely Easterish. I can see, you know what I'm saying? I can see dudes coming out trying to put it together. You see what I'm saying? But the forks, the forks, the forks, the forks. You see the lime green New Era logo. White icy liner, you know what I'm saying? Just a clean fitted though, definitely, definitely clean icy. Something I'm not gonna wear, but I'll again, I'll probably let this one go. This is size seven and three eighths, so never worn. You just let me know if you guys are interested. Catch me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these, man. So that's my Easter palette, my colors for the Easter joints, man. That's my little clip that I got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, like I said, look, I'm driving stuff. My next one might be a sale video. I think this, I've never done one of those, so I might just step outside the box, do something I don't do all the time. But thank you guys for tuning in. Peace and love. And as always, I catch you on the next one.